Mitch. Hey everyone, Mitch here. I'm recording this in my car as I drive home from school. This is going to be day one of my vlog, I guess. And today, I just kind of want to talk about my life and what's been going on. So settle in for a pretty boring, like, 20-ish minute video, probably. Um, sorry about all the background noise. It's just the sound of my car on the highway. If there's there's kind of nothing I could do except drive less fast, and I'm not going to do that. So there you go. If this is even audible. I don't know if it's going to be even audible. Just, oh well, forget it. So anyway, this today, like, the, recently, I'm, um, my life is weird because I don't... I'm a senior in high school, and I need to pick a college to go to and stuff, and I need to apply to colleges, and I, my job ended, so I need to get a job, and there's just a whole bunch of stuff that um, I've been putting off, and it's all coming back, and so I'm continuing to put it off, and I really shouldn't, but I don't, I don't see how I'm going to stop putting it off, uh, so it, it turns into this chicken and egg thing. I guess. I'm just making excuses for myself, that's all this is. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching, bye. No, just kidding. Uh, drive's not over yet. I've still gotta say some more stuff. So, uh, Linux. Fantastic operating system. Very, very interesting. Cool stuff you can do with it. Um, you got, uh, so basically, an operating system, it isn't like a set thing. I mean, typically, the way you see operating systems packaged and distributed, they are set things like Windows 10. It's, it's the official Microsoft bits of Windows 10 all combined and distributed as a single operating system that gets global updates, which are updates to the system apps and stuff. But technically speaking, each part of it, like the window manager and the, the, uh, what do you call them? How do you call them? In what way do you call them? No, the, uh, like, whatever program it is that, like, draws a, has a cursor on the screen, and, like, the, uh, the back end that runs Win32 EXEs and Win64 EXEs and MSI installers and, uh, God forbid, um, Microsoft Store slash Xbox apps, like, those are all different subsystems within Windows 10. And they all kind of have different, have slightly different functions and do different things, and they come together to form the operating system. It's just you don't notice because they're kind of the only thing of their kind for Windows, and so they all kind of just blend together, and you're like, oh yeah, it's Windows. You don't think, oh, that's Windows with the uh, Microsoft Adaptive Window Manager and the the Windows 10 cursor theme, uh, and the, you, you just don't, you just, and the, uh, EXE32 app format, uh, application package manager, and the, uh, and the, uh, the, 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 dot net framework 3.5 or whatever, you, you don't, you don't think about that with Windows because that's, all of those things are are part of Windows, and they make up what people think of Windows as, and so you can't really... Well, I mean, theoretically, you could isolate any of them, and obviously, because I'm talking about them like different things, they have been isolated, but it's not... It's not the kind of thing where you can just change them out and stuff. Well, for Linux, and this is the cool thing, you can change them out, so you can have different window managers or different cursor themes or different um, 
different application backends, and you can just kind of swap them out and I'm at a stoplight, it's fine, I can move my hands. You can swap them out and move them around and change and change them and you can have different default apps, different uh, different all sorts of stuff and that rearrangeability and customizability is kind of the most the most appealing thing about Linux for me at least. If you don't like it because in Windows if your computer is running slow it's either because of Microsoft telemetry or because your compositing settings are turned up and the GPU can't handle it or the disk or you're on a hard drive and so it's the disk is getting uh, the disk is just chugging is just churning in that poor hard drive bay because of the, the excessive kernel paging the excessive paging the kernel has to do or something and you have to like go in and try and find the settings to 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 move that around and you know you have to like open administrator PowerShell and run some obtuse command and then realize that because it, the uh, the obtuse command was written for like Windows 7 PowerShell didn't exist back then so to do it in PowerShell you have to navigate to the directory and do dot backslash and then the thing and then if there's not another syntax error it'll do it but then if you like do an update it'll probably reset that and you'll have to change it back again or just live with it but with Linux, you don't like, there's something that's making it run slow, just just uninstall it, just delete it, just replace it or something. You, you know, you can, you can find an alternative for that program that'll work just fine. Maybe even better, probably better. And so you can have, you can, you can customize your system to the level where everything on there is exactly what you want, basically. And I'm not even I'm not even talking about like editing source code and and doing everything in the terminal just because they, like that you're you're such a, a smart hacker guy that's the way you want it. No, I'm talking about just graphical graphical applications and user facing stuff. You can have it set and you can have it set up with as much eye candy and fancy fancy. Sm sm smells and bells and stuff we're not really like bells and wh whistles and that's what it that's what it is bells and whistles have all the bells and whistles you want hooked up to or your desktop or you can put none on there whatever you want you can have multiple taskbars you can have taskbars with lots of different things you can have taskbars with lots of the same things you can you can just do so much and um this is my pitch. If you haven't tried Linux yet, maybe just like download an ISO and burn it to a USB drive you're not using and fire it up for a live session. It doesn't make you, you don't have to install it to a hard drive or something just to be able to test out the OS like with Windows. You just, you can just turn it on, just turn your computer on, boot from the USB stick, and with most distributions, it'll just throw you into a live desktop with all the apps that, with like a bunch of stock apps and stuff, and you can play around with settings and configure things. And you can, uh, the default browser on most distributions is Firefox, so it's a step up from Edge. It's a step up from, from Internet Explorer, certainly, maybe even... I think it, Firefox is still better than Safari at this point. It's it's good, and they, even some there's some others that don't come with Firefox. They can't come with like um, Midori, which is kind of sketch. Maybe I'm not sure about. Uh, but anyway, the whatever browser it is, it's gonna have um, as its homepage the site of the distribution so you can read more documentation on it and if the internet doesn't work you can you can always just look there's probably a pdf on the desktop or something explaining how everything works anyway that was my that's just that's just my pitch and day one of my vlog so bye